Hello, I'm Merit Zukovich, and for the past six months, it's been my honor to serve as Peter's physician. It's hard to believe that I only met Peter at Indu six months ago, because our calls and our, our meetings really felt like we were lifelong friends on a journey together to try to figure out ALS and to find effective treatments as a partnership. Because of geography between us, our visits consisted at the beginning really of phone calls and televisits where we discussed treatment options, the ALS science, and how he was feeling. We started actually our phone relationship before we met in person last February. At least that's how it started. As all of you know, Peter was brilliant, an incredibly kind, generous, and a driven man. He was also a deeply devoted partner to Indu. He came to our conversations, whether they were in person or on the call, eager to discuss the science, open to exploring a variety of personalized treatment options for him, and insatiably curious about the direction of research. They were amazing conversations. The simplest way to describe my relationship with Peter would be to say that I'm his doctor. But that is uh, hardly um, the truth and too simple. Perhaps a, a more important way to describe our relationship is to say that we were partners trying to conquer ALS. We shared a devotion to the cause and perseverance. I felt privileged to be part of this amazing team as they worked to help in the journey to find a cure for this awful illness. I met in person Peter and Indu one afternoon last February in the clinic at Mass General Hospital. It was evident that time that Peter's leg weakness was most likely due to ALS, although I made a solemn promise uh, to that we would keep looking for other causes to try to understand his illness. And we did that. We did that together. I saw Peter take on this diagnosis uh, by caring, being brave, committed to the field, and really with his natural leadership and uh, business sense. I began to see him not just as this amazing, successful entrepreneur and loving husband, but as truly the brilliant man that he is. There was no area of the ALS science he didn't uh, understand, no idea too small to explore, uh, and he pushed me and our team at Mass General to think even deeper about the biology and how we were going to cure ALS. He really could learn any idea and explore it deeply until it was fully understood. He's incredible. Some of my favorite discussions with Peter uh, began as our clinical appointments, and then, but then evolved quickly into these real collaborations where we're both brainstorming together about the science of ALS. I really couldn't tell that he wasn't a scientist by training. He sometimes actually was the one ending our conversations uh, because I could have gone on for hours, but he often had other meetings where he'd have to say that we'd have to pick up the topic another time. One of the initiatives he was really excited about was this new program that we're building at Mass General Hospital called our Master Trial Accelerator. This is an approach that's already been hugely successful in oncology, where if you have a big pipeline of drugs, you build a platform to test them in one master trial, where you can uh, test multiple drugs at the same time, you can share uh, the comparison groups, and you can really, with this approach, cut down the development time by half you can decrease the number of people you need in the study to find an effective treatment by a third, and you can dramatically increase by two-thirds the number of people who are in the active treatment. Uh, we, the ALS field is ready for this approach, uh, and Peter understood that. Peter was excited about that. Um, we have the buy-in by the FDA, the patients, the companies, and we're ready to launch this initiative with uh, five drugs, um, all from uh, small pharma um, and all that Peter was very excited about. Um, I'm excited to partner with all of you and the Peter Cohen Fund to try to support this initiative. Um, this is going to be a game changer of how we develop treatments for ALS and uh, really help all patients all over the world who have this illness in their families. Peter was an amazing person. And although confronting this illness, he always encouraged me to keep pushing forward to the cure. He inspires, uh, inspired me and all our team. This is my lifelong passion and my promise to Peter, to Indu, all of you and all of his family, uh, all of you who are blessed to be part of his life. I'm not going to give up on this illness until we really find effective treatments for everybody with the illness. And I know this is possible now. I would be honored to have the Peter Cohen Fund as our partner in a way to keep Peter with us and to fulfill his vision and 
how he thought this illness was going to be cured. I'm very honored to say that Peter welcomed me into his circle of friends. I sometimes kind of joked with him that he did have a lot of physicians and, um, and uh, he would say, but you're, you're my number one physician. Um, I'm sure he must have said that to a lot of other physicians, but he made me feel like I was an important part of his family and his friends. Peter, I am really truly heartbroken. I'll never forget your brilliant and your beautiful spirit, your love for your family, and your deep commitment to the ALS community and to the science, and your quiet bravery. You inspire me. I'm really grateful to be included in this celebration of Peter's life. I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but please know that I'm there in my heart. I send all of you my love. Thank you.